All right, the Sony ZV-1 Mark II is officially here and it looks nearly identical to the original Sony ZV-1. Hold on, let me just bring it out over here. Like, look at it side by side. Like, can you can you really tell the difference between the two? <laughs> the problem I have with the ZV-1 Mark II is that it looks so similar to the original ZV-1 that for the first 40 minutes of us reviewing the camera, I was filming with the ZV-1 the entire time. It wasn't until uh, we were gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison and I was like, well, let's use my camera with the stabilization off ears on. And when he went to mess with the settings, you're like, this is weird, our cameras are different. And then we realized that you were using the original Sony ZV-1. Yeah. No Mark II. So if you've watched my videos, then you know how much I love the Sony ZV-1. Like it's such a workhorse of a camera and I use it all the time to film my top-down B-roll shots. The 4K video quality is great. The autofocus performance just kicks butt. And while all of that is great, the ZV-1 isn't really an ideal camera to vlog with because it's not wide enough. However, the Sony ZV-1 Mark II is. All right, so I'm gonna compare the cameras of the original ZV-1 and the ZV-1 Mark II. The original ZV-1 has a full frame equivalent of 24 to 70 millimeters, where the ZV-1 Mark II has a full frame equivalent of 18 to 50 millimeters. So at its widest, the ZV-1 Mark II uh, is the wider camera, which is great for vlogging because uh, vlogging with the ZV-1 wasn't really the best at 24 millimeters. I mean, it was all right, but you know, 18 millimeters is pretty nice. All right, let's go ahead and zoom in. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I've zoomed in all the way. Oh, you still can't see me. Oh, these are my nice pants. All right, this is what the ZV-1 looks like zoomed in all the way. And here's what the ZV-1 Mark II looks like zoomed in all the way. All right, off the ground, off the ground. Oh. First, let's talk about the lens, which is the biggest difference between the ZV-1 and the ZV-1 Mark II. The ZV-1 Mark II has a wide 18 to 50 millimeter zoom lens with a variable aperture of f1.8 to 4.0. So that wider field of view is perfect for vlogging. It's just that you don't have that extra reach like you do with the Sony ZV-1. All right, we're gonna do a zoom test of the ZV-1 Mark II. This is at its widest at 18 millimeters, and now we are zooming. to clear image zoom and to zoom in even more. Look at that. All right, check this out. Because the ZV-1 Mark II is so light at nine ounces, I'm actually gonna clip it to this little grip thingy and put it to the rear view mirror and vlog us. I like you know, that. Because the, the lens is wider, right? Yeah, so this let's, is gonna uh, be great. So here we go, let's take out the, the monitor. Just gonna just connect it up over here. Oh my gosh, <gasps> perfect fit. Works. Look at that, look at that. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look, we're in the frame. Look at that. It is filming both of us. It is wide enough to film both of us. Here, let's You're angle a it a little vlogger. bit more. But yeah, look at us. Like, it is wide enough to film in a car. That is great. Just like its predecessor, the ZV-1 Mark II shoots 20.1 megapixel photos, but because of the one inch stacked CMOS sensor, the ZV-1 Mark II actually is faster and performs better in low light. So are you testing out the five centimeter close up? Yeah, so when you're uh, at the widest uh, focal length, uh, you can go up to five centimeters and take a super close up shot. It's kind of cool, it's like close to macro. Is that for picture and video? That is for picture and video. We love that. We do. You can film 4K video up to 30 frames per second and HD video up to 120 frames per second, which is a little disappointing if I'm being honest because it's literally the same video specs as the ZV-1, except that the ZV-1 Mark II has a better sensor. Like the Xperia 1 Mark V, which just came out, is a phone that can film in 4K up to 120 frames per second. That's a phone! Where if you want to film in slow motion with the ZV-1 Mark II, you have to film in HD. Which isn't really the end of the world, but come on. The ZV-1 Mark II has active stabilization, has the same built-in 3-sup ND filter, product showcase, background defocus, the same real-time tracking and real-time eye autofocus, but this time for humans and animals. Same flip-out touchscreen, but now you have touch capabilities in the menu. Very cool. But a huge improvement of the ZV-1 Mark II over the original ZV-1 is the Intelligent 3-capsule mic. This is the same onboard mic from the Sony ZV-E1, and that mic, considering it's an onboard microphone, is very impressive. All right, so we're doing an audio test of the ZV-1 Mark II. Got the ocean right next to me, wind just blowing all around, and I'm trying my best to speak loudly in front of the camera, and hopefully the audio sounds good. And because it's the new three-capsule intelligent mic, if I turn the camera around, technically, 
you should be able to hear my voice as I'm narrating from the background, which is such a cool feature for a lot of creators that want to narrate the backgrounds as they're vlogging. And if I flip the camera around again, uh, it should detect where the main audio source is coming from. Uh, in this case, it's the front directional mic. And so, yeah, hopefully, hopefully this sounds good. The ZV-1 Mark II also borrows features from another Sony ZV camera, the ZV-1F. Features like self-timer, which is similar to the timer on TikTok and Instagram Reels, and just a pretty cool way to prepare yourself before the camera actually starts recording. And the other feature that the ZV-1 Mark II borrows from the ZV-1F is the swipe up features. This is actually pretty cool because instead of having to press the menu or function menu button on the camera, camera, you can swipe left, swipe right, or even swipe up to access the different settings of the camera. Oh, uh, the ZV-1 R2 now has a USB-C port with power delivery. So you can quickly charge this camera, which is really great when you're traveling because charging the ZV-1 with the, what is it, the micro USB port, ugh, just was such a pain, it took so long. But now with the ZV-1 Mark II, you can quickly charge your camera because it supports power delivery. Also, on that note, you can also charge your camera while you're live streaming with the ZV-1 Mark II. No need for an HDMI cable, no need for a video capture card. You can plug in your camera to your computer with a single USB-C cable, and it will live stream while charging your camera without seeing a drop of power. This is really great for you streamers out there who streams for hours and hours and hours. Like you don't have to worry about the power levels dropping because it's constantly being charged by your computer. Makes me want to live stream for eight hours. No, no it doesn't. And then as far as like button layouts, like the ZV-1 and the ZV-1 Mark II are pretty much identical. Like the record button and the zoom rockers are the same. The buttons in the back are exactly the same. But other than the size, the lens, and the microphone, the only notable difference between these two cameras is at the bottom. With the ZV-1, the quarter 20 thread is right next to the battery compartment, which was not a good design choice because if you're mounting the ZV-1 on a tripod and you have to switch out your batteries or take out the SD card, you kind of have to take out the entire camera from your tripod, take the SD card out or battery out, and then reattach it all over again. With the ZV-1 Mark II, however, the quarter 20 thread and the battery compartment are much further apart, making it a lot easier to switch out batteries or your SD cards when mounted on a tripod. And I know it's silly, it may not be a big deal to you, but it's definitely a big deal to me. So yeah, good job, Sony. All right, Jenna, what is your one favorite thing of the ZV-1 Mark II? My favorite thing about the new Sony ZV-1 Mark II is definitely the three capsule intelligent mic. I loved that feature in the Sony ZV-E1. So the fact that it now is in this small compact camera, very hyped about it. What's your favorite feature, Sid? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, my favorite feature of the ZV-1 Mark II is the wider lens, right? Like uh, 18 millimeters, like that's, that's super wide to vlog. It's honestly, it's, it kind of makes the ZV-1F obsolete because the, because, well, hear me out. The ZV-1F is what, 20 millimeters? Yes. That's wider than the ZV-1, but now with the ZV-1 Mark II, wider at 18 millimeters, it's like, why would you get the ZV-1F? Whoa. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So my final thoughts. Uh, there's a lot of things I love about the Sony ZV-1 Mark II. I love the wider lens to vlog with. In fact, this is such a great camera to slip into your backpack or even in your pocket and vlog pretty much wherever you go. Like you don't have to bring a heavy camera setup anymore to film your vlogs that look good. So for those of you that film a lot of travel content, this camera is perfect for you. I also love the colors in the video footage shot with the ZV-1 Mark II. And when you use that ND filter to shoot at a lower aperture, the results can look pretty amazing. I do love that new intelligent three capsule mic on the ZV-1 Mark II. I mean, in a pinch, you can capture clean audio with that mic. Again, not as good as using an external mic or lav mic, but if you don't wanna carry a mic, at all, the audio coming from this camera is absolutely usable. And then the last thing I love about this camera is actually the bottom of the camera where the battery compartment and the quarter 20 thread are a lot further apart. And like I said before, it just makes it a lot easier to remove the battery or SD card while the camera is on a tripod. It's just one of those small things that I really, really appreciate. Now, some things I don't like about the ZV-1 Mark II. Some of the features in the ZV-1 are actually missing in the Mark II. Like, you know that super slow motion feature in the ZV-1? Like, even though the video quality is pretty bad, like that feature is not in the ZV-1 Mark II anymore. Albeit, I probably wouldn't use it, <laughs> but it would have been cool to see some sort of improvement in super slow motion capabilities with the new camera. But other than that, the ZV-1 Mark II is a great upgrade. The upgrades may not be as exciting as I hoped it would be, like kind of wanted 4K60 with this camera. Still, it's a fantastic compact camera to vlog with, take pictures with, to film B-roll shots of your other Sony cameras if you're a monster like me. And I guess the only thing left to cover is, is the ZV-1 Mark II 
worth getting over the ZV-1. Well, if you don't have any ZV camera, if you don't have the ZV-1, then yeah, absolutely get the camera. It's a great vlog camera. I love how wide it is. I love how small and compact it is. It's really a great camera to add to your camera bag, especially if you have other Sony cameras. However, if you already have the Sony ZV-1, I would hold on to it. Like, honestly, like video shot with the ZV-1 still looks good. I mean, these shots over here were filmed with the ZV-1, and these shots that you see right now are filmed with the ZV-1 Mark II. Like, I know they're not side by side comparisons, but the video quality and the aesthetic look pretty darn good considering they're compact cameras. And because the original ZV-1 has that extra reach, I'm gonna continue using the ZV-1 as my favorite camera to film top-down shots. And I actually might consider getting the ZV-1 Mark II as my traveling, backup vlog camera. Like that wider lens just makes it idea to vlog with, especially if you don't want to carry a big heavy camera setup. Like it's so nice just having a small camera to vlog with. Like sometimes I just don't like vlogging with my FX3. And why am I vlogging with an FX3? But that's the Sony ZV-1 Mark II. If you want to check it out for yourself, links will be down below. And also let me know what you think about this camera, especially if you already own a ZV-1. All right, I'm out of here. I got to edit this video because you know me and deadlines. So thanks for watching, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, I don't want to edit. I just want to eat cheese. Thank you.